What's up, Ski World? I'm Jeff with Shaggy Skis, and I've been skiing Mount Bohemia for over 20 years. This is my insider's guide to Mount Bohemia. But hey, before I continue, make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to make sure you see all of our newest content. Mount Bohemia is located in the tip of Michigan's Keweenaw Peninsula. This is the biggest, baddest, most rugged ski area in the Midwest, and it's surrounded by Lake Superior, the largest body of fresh water on the planet. This causes lake effect powder to fall almost every day through January and February. The mountain has a vertical drop of 900 feet, 585 skiable acres of terrain, and averages 273 inches of snow per year. That might sound small by Rocky Mountain standards, but it skis like the top 900 feet of your favorite resort out west. Mount Bohemia has two chairlifts with plans to add a third in the near future. They also have a shuttle system that allows access to the entire mountain regardless if you get back to a chair or end up on a road. The ski area is not groomed and is for experts only, but I would say as long as you're an advancing intermediate skier and you have someone to show you around, it's a great place to sharpen your skills. Now let's do a deeper dive into the unique zones of Mount Bohemia, starting with the front side of the mountain, Bohemia Mining Co. Bohemia Mining Co. features several open runs on the mountain and the only true blue square, Prospector. But don't let that lead you on too much. Prospector's narrow entrance will get chewed up and windblown and bumped out, so be careful on your way in. The other open runs in this area are classics. If you really want to show off and impress your friends, hit one of the drainage gullies running right across Copper Plunge, which I like to call Hollywood. It runs right into the chairlift and you'll have people hooting and hollering all the way down. Each year at the end of our Shaggy's family vacation, we do a snake run all the way down this run, which is always a ton of fun to join or watch from the chairlift. Heading just right of Bohemia Mining Co., you'll find it the area called Bohemia Bluffs. Each run is gladed through the woods with fairly wide spacing between trees. Head here on a powder day to find great pitch. It's challenging without the larger cliffs found next door, the extreme backcountry. In Bohemia Bluffs, you'll find the iconic Tommy Knocker's Plunge. It's steep in the woods and filled with bumps. This is the first run on the front side where you'll feel like you're no longer in the Midwest. Every run on Bohemia Bluffs can empty back to the main chairlift. So if they aren't running the double chairlift on the backside yet, head here to get more lamps and avoid the extra time associated with the bus. And now my personal favorite, the extreme backcountry. This zone is perfect for both thrill seekers and everyone out there who's looking for a true challenge in the Midwest. In the extreme backcountry, you'll find some truly technical terrain. It's home to the biggest cliff drops the mountain has to offer. The extreme backcountry is gladed with the steepest runs and most sustained pitch on Mount Bohemia. When you get to this area, stay to skiers right towards Brown Beagle for the most mellow terrain in this difficult area. The further left you go, the steeper the terrain gets. Eventually, the area between Brown Beagle and Flying Squirrel will lead you to a line of cliffs. Either ski around this steep and technical terrain for an easier way down, or pick your way through the rocks and jump off a cliff into the best powder pockets on the mountain. Disclaimer, this area is not for the faint of heart. Make sure you know what you're doing and have a buddy with you at all times. This is truly difficult skiing by any standard out there. If you don't want to go over a cliff, keep heading towards Flying Squirrel, which offers the steepest terrain on the mountain without the mandatory cliff drops. You will be billy goating around rocks, fallen trees, and anything else the snow can barely hang on to. The Horseshoe Chute is one of the more iconic cliff zones in the extreme backcountry. Make sure you know where you are at when you're exploring this area. Directly under this line of cliffs, you'll find the zone that leads back to the road. This area is slightly less steep and there are a ton of features to explore and logs to jump off or ski under. You can even find some hidden chutes if you look in the right places. But I can't give everything away, so you're gonna have to go out there and find those ones for yourself. Continuing around the mountain, you'll find the Bear Den located on the south face and the double chairlift on the back side runs right through it. You will find a number of open runs with the steepest being lookers left and the more mellow runs to the right. If you're looking for one that really gets your heart pumping, try the Beast. It starts off mellow and gradually gets steeper and steeper with technical bumps. You can find a few gladed sections between the runs in this area, and since they're not well known, they tend to not get skied out quite as fast. If you want to test out your skills on some seriously technical drops, check out the Forbidden Cliffs. Be careful as landings are tight with trees in the run out. Insider tip, with the Bear Den facing south, this is the first place to go on the mountain if there's been a freeze-thaw cycle without new snow. It tends to soften up first, so head here first if you're looking for easier snow to ski when it's icy. On the flip side of the mountain, you'll find the north-facing Haunted Valley and graveyard areas. 
This entire area is bladed and features very well spaced trees. Stay skiers right for a lower pitch that flows into the valley or head skiers left for steeper and more challenging terrain. The Haunted Valley dumps into a cat track known as Ghost Trail that will lead you back to the front side of the mountain. Under the cat track is known as a graveyard. It features a couple hundred vertical feet of almost always untracked snow with awesome little features to jump off. Keep in mind that you'll need to skate or hike out a couple hundred yards. The Outer Limits and Middle Earth are located on the far east side of Mount Bohemia. This terrain exclusively offers gladed runs, with the Outer Limits being steeper and the Middle Earth being a more moderate pitch. These areas are a great place to find powder late in the day. Now that we've covered the main zones of Mount Bohemia, let's cross the road and head over to Little Boho, which is a small hike to bus out zone that is accessed from the back of the parking lot. It's a short hike up from the parking lot as you're already almost at the top. The area offers moderate pitch and well spaced trees. The area is very picturesque and doesn't see nearly as much traffic as the mountain. It's perfect for those days where it hasn't snowed and you're looking to get some powder, or if there's a wind hold on the chairlift. In my experience, it's been worth the hike. Another unique service that Mount Bohemia offers is cat skiing at Voodoo Mountain. This is the only cat skiing operation in the Midwest, located closer to the north side of the Keweenaw Peninsula, overlooking Lake Superior. The snowcat will take you to a series of ridges where the pitch is more moderate and perfect for those cold powder days. The Cat to Voodoo Mountain operates twice a week, and you're all but guaranteed to find powder with lake effect snow dumping all winter long. So now you might be wondering, where do you stay when you go up to Mount Bohemia? Mount Bohemia offers a few different ways to stay at the mountain. Their trailside cabins sleep four with bunk beds. They also have a bathroom and a shower, but don't include any bedding or towels or your typical hotel amenities, so make sure you bring your own stuff. Their trailside yurts are perfect for larger groups. They sleep between eight and 12 people. They also have bunk beds and are bare bones, so make sure you bring everything yourself. Mount Bohemia also offers campsites in the parking lot. You can find more information about those on their website. If you have any questions, make sure you check with the management. Now let's talk about what ski is best for Mount Bohemia. You're gonna to wanna to ski at least 95 millimeters wide underfoot. Also, a slightly shorter ski might be helpful in some of the tire areas if you're looking at maybe Rocky Mountain standards, the size down one. Our Amic 105 was literally designed and fine-tuned at Mount Bohemia. It would be a great go-to ski if I were looking to purchase a pair before a trip. Thanks for watching. We absolutely love skiing at Mount Bohemia. It's fun and adventurous, challenging and motivating. We hope to see you out there. And if you need skis, we're the ones who have you covered. And also, check out our Shaggy's Family Vacation. It's usually the third weekend in January. Check our calendar, but we invite everyone to come out and ski with us. We give away a ton of gear, and it's a great time to ski with friends. So if you have any thoughts, or secret zones you want to share, drop them in the comments. Or if you have any questions, if you're a first timer, let us know, write a comment. I'll be sure to reply as quick as I can and make sure you have your best time, your first time at Mount Bohemia.